Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStudios.com and today we are here at the Xiaomi event and we have the Redmi Note 4G device with us. As you can see, this is the Redmi Note 4G. We have already done a hands-on of the Red, Redmi Note device which was uh, showcased earlier. So you can see that particular device as a hands-on review. We have posted that on our channel. So talking about this device, we have two versions of Redmi Note which are going to be launched on the first week and then you have the second week of December where the Redmi Note 4G will come. So Redmi Note Note will come for a price of approximately 8,999, which is 9,000 rupees. Whereas the Redmi Note 4G will come for 10,000 rupees, and this one will come for 9,999, which is the MRP of this particular device, and at which you can actually buy it. Now there is a difference that Redmi Note 4G is coming in partnership with Airtel, so you can buy it from the Airtel store as well. But before that, you need to register on the Airtel.in website. You need to first of all register for this device in order to buy buy it and later on you can actually pick it from the airtel store there are approximately 30 airtel stores in delhi where you can actually go ahead and buy it and this will happen in the second week of december talking about the specs the redmi note 4g actually has better specification as compared to the redmi note uh, which is going to come with 3g compatibility only whereas this one will support 4g and backward compatibility for 3g is also there you also have snapdragon 400 on this device on the redmi note 4G and this is how it looks like in terms of the look and feel it looks exactly the same as you might have seen on the note so in terms of the build and the finishing the material which are there are also same we have the glossy back cover at the back side which will get a lot of fingerprints over time and some scratches as well and again this is something which we do not like much we have the buttons over there which are colored in silver and they are plastic buttons give you decent amount of feedback and at the top we have the microphone the secondary microphone for noise cancellation we have a 3.5mm audio jack over here which is again for headphones and at the bottom we have the prime microphone we have micro USB port for data syncing and charging at the back side we have the loudspeaker over there which will again get muffled and blocked to an extent when you place the device like this on a table so in terms of the design it is exactly the same the hardware inside the redmi note 4g is something which is going to make a lot of difference because the performance will also suffer uh, especially on the redmi note uh, the kind of uh, specification you have on redmi note is again the mediatek chipset which is 6592 octa core 1.7 gigahertz which comes with 2 gb of ram and on this device as well you will have 2 gb of ram so both of these phones will have 2 gb of ram but the kind of performance you will get the, with the snapdragon 400 over time will be better as compared to the redmi note which you can buy so i would rather recommend you to wait for redmi note 4g in case you want to buy the redmi note from xiaomi the redmi note 3G will come for uh, for a price of 8,999 and it will come on 2nd of December where you can actually buy it for the first time and one thing you should make a note of is that the Redmi Note whenever the sale of the Redmi Note 3G will start in India the Redmi 1S will be discontinued again this device is a better device in terms of the display size it is a bigger display as compared to the Redmi 1S but Redmi 1S will not be available in India after the Redmi Note 3G sale or the Redmi Note 4G sale will start so you will not be able to buy that through Flipkart on that but uh, from that particular date that is 2nd of December so talking about this device as you can see on the front we have these touch capacitive buttons at the bottom which are again i think they are they do not have backlit LED. they are actually colored in red so you may not be able to see them in dark room especially that could happen and on the front we can see that we have a 5 megapixel camera over there we have nice metallic earpiece over there at the rear we have 13 megapixel camera and an led flash and this 13 megapixel camera does have auto focus and it can also record high definition video this is how the mui look like again this one is not even running the mi ui which is the version 6 version 6 will come later as far as the information which we have got today the mi ui 6 will come to xiaomi devices by the uh, by the uh, early 2015 so you can expect the ui to hit on these phones on in january 2015 uh, as of now they will run the mi ui 5 this this is how it looks like as you can see so in terms of the build quality and the finishing everything remains the same talking about the specifications we have a different specification over here for the redmi note uh, 4g which is snapdragon 400 chipset and you will have 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor which is there on the 
uh, you can say on Redmi 1S which you might have seen earlier. So let's take a look over the hardware configuration of the phone and I think we do have 82 installed on this device and let me just uh, basically check for the same. Okay we do not have 82 but let me just show you the configuration as far as hardware is concerned. We do have 4G connectivity on this device and uh, again we have a speed test which I can do right now for you. Uh, we did the speed test earlier as well. Download speed are very impressive but the upload speed are again not too great. It is 1.2 Mbps and when we restart this test and we do the test right now in front of you you can actually find out again this is being done through the lab facility of Airtel in Gurgaon uh, through which the 4G is there as of now in Delhi or in Gurgaon basically uh, because 4G is not rolled out to Delhi and you can buy this device in the second week of December but 4G will not be available in the second week of December this year so in that case you will need to wait uh, until the 4G is rolled out in Delhi from Airtel and then you can use 4G from Airtel on this phone it will support both the bands so this is something which is very good and impressive on the Redmi Note 4G that is it will support both the bands it will support the TD LTE band and it will support the FDD LTE band as well. So this is something which is very good for this phone because this is going to be the first phone I guess maybe uh, which will have support for both the bands which are the kind of bands which are being used by different uh, networks over here in Delhi and uh, in India basically. So talking about the weight it is around 199 gram in terms of the weight. It weigh, it weigh really uh, kind of heavy I would say as compared to some other 5 inch 5.5 inch phone I have seen recently. Recently, in terms of thickness, it is around 9.5 millimeter. In terms of the thickness, the weight is around 200 gram, which is again not too high, not not too less as well. And again, you will get used to the weight once you start using this device. Gripping this device is actually a problem because you have a glossy back cover, so it, this device tend to split, slip out uh, when you use it in day to day to day usage. It has a 5.5 inch display. You have 720p display on this device and again you won't notice pixelation on this display but again you if you read a document with large amount of text you might be able to notice certain amount of pixelation let me just show you the phone dialer and other things and for that we will just go over here and this is how the phone dialer look like again this is running the MIUI which is kind of responsive and fast enough I do not notice any kind of lag on this device till now and this is uh, good the phone dialer does not give you the facility of doing a uh, cellular video call this is how the messaging application look like as you can see this is also the MIUI custom messaging application we do have the latest version of swift key keyboard which does allow you to do swipe to type and the keyboard keys are pretty big on this 5.5 inch display you can easily type and you also get a pop-up and suggestions as well at the top whenever you press any key or whenever you type any word talking about settings let me just go into the settings and show you what all we have as far as the toggles are concerned these are the toggles which you will get for data for auto mode uh, for vibrate rotation dnd and other things and you do have notification you can access from here uh, and let, let me just go into settings and take a look over the version of Android. So the version of Android which you will get on Android on Redmi Note 4G will be KitKat whereas the Redmi Note which is going to come with the MediaTek chipset before this one which is going to be available through Flipkart that will come with Jelly Bean. So you will get KitKat on this device at least which is better. Again it is not the latest version of Android as of now but you will get KitKat on this device which is definitely a good thing as compared to what you get on Redmi Note which is again going to come with Jelly Bean and it will take some months minimum around four to uh, three to four months at least for Xiaomi to actually release the Mi UI 6 on these devices including the Redmi Note 4G and uh, Redmi Note uh, 3G as well and uh, in that case you might get lollipop they are working on lollipop on this device and uh, maybe that will come as soon as as it gets ready so taking a look over the settings I can show you some more information about the storage let me just show you the information about the storage over here on the storage front we have 8 GB of storage on this device which is there and out of which 4.53 GB is available the total available storage is 6.1 GB and out of which uh, some part is being taken up by the uh, area uh, some area is being taken up by the storage uh, by the OS itself the MIUI which is running on top of Android so available amount of storage which you will get for the consumer is going to be 4.5 GB only out of 8 GB we do have a SD card support and you can have uh, an SD card up to 64 GB on the Redmi Note, Redmi Note 4G whereas the support for the SD card on Redmi Note 3G or the Redmi Note itself is going to be only 32 GB maximum whereas this one can take 64 GB memory card apart from this we do have some information over there for the display 
we have brightness support over there we do have some automatic brightness as well all these things are there let me just show you the camera ui and again you will get all the kind of features which you have on the miui all the gestures are supported different kind of buttons uh, functionality you can actually control on this device but let me just show you the application scenario so we have 2 gb of ram on this device and let me just show you the current status of the ram again we are not able to see the current status of the ram as of now in this application but we will show that later once we do the full review right now we do not have the required application which could actually show you the current status of the ram the amount of ram free on this device should be around 1 gb i guess and again the device is fairly responsive in terms of the ui i do not notice any major lag on this device which is a good thing let me just take a photo of my iphone 6 over there to show you the overall performance of this device as far as camera is concerned again we are going to take this photo in artificial light and uh, here we have my iphone 6 and let's see how does the camera actually handle this amount of light with the subject so the camera shutter is pretty quick in order to take some photos let me just take one more photo over here and i will show you both of them now so this is how the photo looks like in low light it has captured colors pretty decently in terms of details details are not that great but it is doing a pretty decent job as far as the photo of my iphone 6 is concerned i can show you that as well so this is how the iphone 6 photo look like it looks pretty good in terms of the details and the color production is also decent enough it is not too great in terms of the overall color production i would say or in terms of brightness but it is pretty decent for a device like this which is coming for this much of price the 13 megapixel camera on this device is working pretty well you will have the same camera on the redmi note 4g and uh, 3g device both of them will have the same camera that is 13 megapixel camera at the back and front camera will be 5 megapixel let me just toggle back to the front camera to show you the front camera view so this is how the front camera view will look like let me just take a photo of mine again we are taking against light uh, so this will be a test of the camera so as you can see this is how the camera quality will look like in the front camera it is again pretty good i would say because the light was against the camera and it has taken a pretty decent shot in which i can see myself clearly so the front camera is also decent and it can do a high definition video recording as well just like the rear camera so you can record high definition video from the rear camera as well as from the front camera both cameras can record high definition video and i can show you the settings for the same so here we have the settings and we can actually record high definition video on this device uh, again we will show that setting later on but uh, this is something which i can say that the front camera and the rear camera both of them are pretty good on this device you have a lot of options over there which includes fast motion video recording which you can do we have more settings over here which allows you to set it to simple mode or you can set it to advanced mode in which you can do a macro uh, you can do a manual focus as well on this device uh, once you enable the advanced mode in this mode you can actually have manual focus and you can control the resolution the resolution is full full hd from the rear camera that way the video can be recorded you can also record slow motion video and normal videos as well let me just talk to the front camera and for the front camera if i talk about the resolution again i'm not able to find out but the front camera can record high definition video so in all i can say that this device is a pretty decent device for the price and Redmi Note 4G is definitely a better device as compared to Redmi Note 3G or Redmi Note what, whatever you would like to call it and this will come with Airtel which you can buy you can also buy it from Flipkart as well not only Airtel but you can also buy it from Flipkart so the registration will happen on Airtel.in and you can also buy this device not only from Airtel stores but also from Flipkart in case that is a problem so do let us know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you you can like this video if this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.